Welcome to our home. Hi there, Plastic Junkie here uh, with a special review to one of my subscribers, the Neo from Singapore. Uh, here he sent me a card. Greetings from Singapore. Happy New Year. Enjoy these goodies. Uh, PJ. So basically, I'm saying thank you, Daniel. I hope you're, that's how you pronounce your name. Uh, from Singapore, that you sent me these goodies. You want to clean up your collection, and I'm happy and proud they're going to be in my collection. So basically, we're doing. It's a weird thing, but it's a mix, okay? I've done tick already, so these are one of the talking ticks. Doesn't talk at all. Uh, Tick, all the blue ticks they made from the first series to the third series, and the third series is basically the talking ones. The body in the middle was a different plastic, and it always turns this weird green blue. So, is it, does it lose its value? No, yes and no, it doesn't because even the packaging, I had all my ticks in the package and I opened them off for space, it doesn't. So, what do I give him as an action figure? I give him a five because I love the tick. He's done. Now we go to Aliens, we had, he gave me five Aliens from the first series, we have um, the Queen Alien here, where she, you know, there's a, and you have a little, her mouth sticks out, her, her, uh, her jaws that go inside the um, uh, human's head, basically all the creatures, to get to the brain, and an action where the, the, she, she, what's it called, she destroys the, destroys the, the, the marines with uh, a swift uh, tail, uh, tail, uh, whip. Uh, hmm? tail whip, action. tail whip, this is a bull alien, its features was you push the head down and you push this little button here and it rams the, uh, the marines right in the, in the gut or in the stomach, and you know, you know how aliens their skin is, right, they're very tough, the minute you destroy an alien, the acid comes on you, and it, it, it goes right through your bones. The xenophobes. Xenophobes, that's it, thank you. Oh yeah, by the way, the cameraman today is actually Pro, uh, Proto Man from Proto Retro. He's a guest star on my show today, and that's me making me really flabbergasted. <laughs> we have the Gorilla Alien, which again is from the first series, and he has a squ uh, squashing uh, grip that he grabs the marines and, and, and he, he squashed them with his, his super grip. And to my knowledge, that was never used in the movies ever, that variant. No. Uh, the queen, yes, that she did the, have the four queen, arms. The, to my knowledge, there was queen, there was dog, there was humanoid. Scorpion. Scorpion was used in the movies. Um, and then the hybrid, obviously, with Resurrection. And the newborn, and that's and, it. Yeah, and that was it. These were all probably done for the Dark Horse comics, perhaps. That's right, it is from Dark Horse. I was yeah. getting to that. Yeah. The, la the fourth one is Scorpion Alien, which is... Uh, you, you, you touch the alien itself and it explodes. But I don't want to make it explode because it's so hard to make it go back, to put it connected back. And that's how he was... Uh, that's, how, that's what his gimmick. Uh, I have one of the comic books. It's number two. This is the Scorpion comic book. They were rolled up like this in the packaging, like I'm going to show you after with the, the fly, flying queen alien, and they were like this. So, there's one of the comic books, made from Dark Horse, came out in 1993, and Dark Horse in the 90s, early 80s, no, late 80s uh, and early 90s, there were, the I for me, they were the king of comic books underground, because they made such r amazing stories that now today, they're extremely rare, the books. Especially. Well, also Dark Horse during the 90s, they were one of those companies, them and Now Comics, they were notorious for um, licensing. Dark yeah. Horse, their entire brand um, was always licensed Star Wars, Terminator, uh, Ro Robocop, Terminator, yeah, Predator. Yeah, Predator, Aliens. Yeah, they, their company relied a lot on licensing. Tank Girl. Tank Girl, that, which became a movie later well, on. Oh, yeah, very good movie. Um, but also... Uh, with Dark Horse 2, they were one of the first companies to bring over manga. Well, yeah, they're from, like um, Rama, Rama one half. Was, oh, I love Rama. And then also you have um, Dirty Pair, and they made their own version of that. Anyway, so we'll get back to the. Uh... No, it's, it's okay. Don't, no, no, no worry, Pearl Man. So this one is uh, a Flying Alien Queen, which he sent me to. This one didn't come with a comic book. Basically, the packaging is not in great shape, but I'm gonna crack this open when uh, off the air. Ah, heck, I'll do it after. Why not? We'll do a little a tribute. You see, you can see that it's from Singapore. My finger's right there. Has a little sticker of, from Singapore. Is it upside down? No, it's right there. No, it's right side up. There you go. And you see all the, the, the characters that they made for the first line. You have a flying alien queen, queen face hugger, alien queen, 
Snake Alien, which was never used. This was used, but they just made it bigger, you know, because they're, they're not that big, the, the Queen Alien Huggers. They're very small. They're like probably the size of a, of a cat. Uh, Mantis Alien, Scorpion Alien, Rhino Alien, which, have, which, which, which we don't see here, that I don't have there. Mm. And then you have all the Marines. You have Lieutenant Ripley, Corporal Hicks, uh, you have Sergeant Apollo, Dr Drake or Dirk? What's that? that one, let me see. That's Drake. 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 Yeah. Bishop, which is played by, uh, help me. Uh, Lance Hendrickson. So Thank you. Lance Hendrickson. And Atax, which I found very weird. You know, like, with an alien disguise gear, I still find this figure... <laughs> I'm pretty sure the aliens would have saw through something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's too strange. If they're, they're, su they're such a biological creature, that's something that would have been mechanized. I'm pretty sure they would have saw right through that. But you know what? Also, it's, it's a possibility they just wanted to pad out the line. You know what I mean? Give more human stuff because clearly the humans were the least popular of the toys. Oh yeah. So to, to to create something that would make it more interesting for people to buy the humans, especially like an armor like that, that would probably be more of an appeal. In all honesty, it is kind of interesting compared to the other human. Yeah, characters. It is interesting. Like like they still you know like what I would have what I would have liked what KB did when they reissued them, they made a repaint is they made them in two packs. They took, each, they took each alien and each, and different characters, and they put three new characters that are extremely rare, which one, what I'm going to do soon one day with uh, Latin Joe. We're going to do a review uh, with him soon in the, in the near future. They, they took one, one human, one alien, they put him in a two-pack, they repainted, and it was a KB exclusive, which now KB is closed. And ba basically, a lot of the KB exclusives... The price went up. Oh, they're, yeah. they're impossible to get anymore. Rest in peace, KB. I love KB. <laughs> yeah, me too. Rest in peace. I love the two. Oh, man. I'm not going to talk about the vehicles because, honestly, this looks like a G.I. Joe uh, vehicle called the... I think the Sea Devil. I'm not too sure the name. Forget about this. I like this. The power loader is awesome. They remade this. The iconic power loader. Yeah, yeah. they remade this as a hot toy. Beautiful. Ripley's so nice in there. The details on that is gorgeous. I give the aliens a four and a half for originality and, and coolness. Last, what he gave me as a gift was Jimmy Neutron. His spaceship with Jimmy Neutron. And, you know, who, who doesn't want Jimmy Neutron's spaceship when he was in the movie? I don't know the gimmicks, what it does, and I don't want to try nothing and, uh, you know, fuck up the, the vehicle, so... <laughs> There's Jimmy Neutron with his little spaceship there when he when he got it at Retroville, Retro Land. That's it. Whoops, there you go. He fell. At Retro Land, when they they had to go and take their their parents away from the aliens because um, uh, the aliens uh, could not all the parents to feed a giant bird, which I don't remember the name. And here's Goddard, his famous uh, robot dog, which you could basically put Jimmy Neutron in there. There's the chair, and he sits down. This is cool. Uh, thank you again, Daniil, for sending me these goodies. I really appreciate it. I did a review just for you. As, uh, it's a special review. I've done this before in the past. What I'll say is that, yeah, I do different types of review, reviews because I'm... I don't know what type of collector I am. I probably... There's not many collectors like me, but I collect everything. Vintage, everything, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. That's me. I collect a few of the of the 2000, I don't know what you want to call that number, 2000, 20, what, 22 century? New millennium figures. New millennium figures, yeah, that's it. But this stuff is cool. I like it. Again, I thank you, Daniil, for sending me this from Singapore. There's the card. All I can say is stay plastic and collect for life. Cheers. And thank you again, uh, Proto Man for Proto Retro.